Hi guys, Molweni, welcome to a new video. I almost said a new vlog, it's a new video. My name is Nomsa, if you have been here before, welcome back. If you're new, I really hope you like what you see and you click on the subscribe button. This is a lifestyle channel. I am a stay-at-home mom, so I do fashion content, I do fitness content and homemaking generally, and I am a Christ lover. Today's video is different in a sense that it is a sit-down video where I am going to be doing rapid 21 questions that I'm going to answer that will at least like give you a little bit of a sneak peek into who I am as a person. These are just fun questions, like nothing very serious. It's rapid, so I'm not going to be thinking too much about them, but also I'm going to be doing my face in the meantime. And I have my little berry juice here with me. I'll be sipping on that. This is a chilled video. I thought, guys, let me tell you the reason why I thought to do this video, especially now. It is because I'm going to be looking down because there is a mirror that I'm using to see myself. So if you see me looking down, that's what I am doing. And I'm just wiping my face off because I went to church this morning and um, I did have a little bit of, you know, foundation under my eyes and a bit of blush so i thought let me just do this sit down video for you guys especially because it is my birthday in two nights i said to my husband in two days he's like no you've got tomorrow only and then it's your birthday so literally i'm sleeping tonight sleeping tomorrow waking up a a an older person you know one year older and i thought let me just do this you know as a commemoration of my birthday and just you know do something um fun you know for a change on this channel and for the people that think i am a serious person that you know they can get like a little bit of who you know an insight of who i am i really am just a chilled person so without further ado let's get into the video so like I did say, I've got 21 questions and I'm going to be doing my makeup. I'm not going anywhere. It's literally a get ready with me to go nowhere type of a video. Just so that I don't sit and just be talking to you guys that I'm doing something while you guys, you know, listen to what I have to say. So I usually just start with spraying my face with a little bit of setting spray, fix uh spray i've got two different ones i have a cheapy this one guys is a, is a it's a cheap little thing that i got from like my local uh store i know you may say it's risky but it's been working for me especially now that it's so hot it helps to just set my face and get it to you know to look nice and um yeah like it makes my makeup look nice and together guys i'm just literally just going to be free flowing with this video so nothing serious like i said it's just a chilled video okay so first question is are you a coffee or a tea person i think you guys can answer this for me i am definitely a coffee person i used to like tea a lot so i use this foundation as guys this is a new trick that i've just started using as my concealer for my under eyes and my eyebrow area so i'm just gonna spray some on here so yeah i am definitely a coffee person i enjoy my coffee very much i'm not the kind of person that will say i don't operate without drinking coffee i have a a reason one reason that is just something that motivates me to drink coffee in the mornings, honestly speaking, I can literally drink it any time of the day. I'm the type of person that can drink coffee at five to nine and go to bed at nine and have no issues at all. So I drink coffee in the mornings, especially because it helps me go to the bathroom more, more than anything. It's not even for energy or anything. Yes, I do use coffee for like as my pre-workout because I don't take supplements. I am a person who likes to work out quite a bit. So coffee does help me you know with a little bit of energy when I'm working out but most importantly first thing in the morning instead of taking my water which as I know is wrong I take my coffee because I want uh, help with going to the bathroom I am a person that struggles a little bit with IBS so you know going to the bathroom is sometimes an issue so coffee does help me to go in the morning that is question number one and you guys see that this foundation is definitely lighter than my complexion so this is what I use it helps me a lot because it does not crease like what um, 
a concealer would crease you know so that's that I'm going to let this sit under my under eyes and then I'm going to do my eyebrows I also don't do a lot with my eyebrows actually I'm gonna use this quick face oh shame it's beat down okay it's beat down this thing I, I've been using it for so long it's fine it gets the work done so I am a coffee person next question is are you a morning or a night person <laughs> This one you can also answer for me you guys you guys I think you guys know already by now if you've been here if you're an OG You would know that I am a person I haven't I haven't in the recent times spoken about like me waking up at 5 a.m. And me being a 5 a.m. Girl. I definitely am a 5 a.m. Girl and um, My my system shuts down in the evenings guys it literally shuts down in the evenings so I operate best in the morning but also waking up in the morning helps me to get so much done especially as someone who is a stay-at-home mom it really really definitely helps me to get like a lot done so that by the time um, it's time for me to pick up my kids from school and that kind of stuff that I've done most of the things that I need to do and I've prepped and I've done a bit of work and uh, work is in like my content creation work so yeah, I'm definitely a morning person. Next question is um, beach or mountains? <laughs> this is a very tricky one for me. You know why? I do love the the mountain outdoorsy type of vibe because I can incorporate like a workout with it. But generally, I think the sea, everybody. I feel like a lot of people can agree with me. No, let me not say that. Let me not include other people. This is about me. So I definitely do prefer if I was to choose between the ocean and the mountain. Best believe I'm choosing the ocean, the breeze. The thing is with both of them, you see the wonders and the beauty of God's creation and just how wonderful God is and how majestic he is. But I think for me, the ocean speaks more to me than the mountain does. And uh, yeah, I would choose a an ocean any day, any, any day. Oh, this is a black opal pencil. Um, if you are interested so the next question is are you a sweet or a savory person? I'm definitely a savory person. My mom says when I was small They used to have to hide the salt from me because I'm the type of child or was the type of child that would steal The salt, you know when my mom's cooking, I would take that go under the table and be um, Eating that so I, I've never had a sweet tooth still don't have a sweet tooth even today I definitely prefer my savory stuff over anything sweet not that I don't have sweet stuff every now and then I will have them but I would never choose like a sweet thing over anything savory at any point I want to say at any point yeah like I would never gravitate towards a sweet thing over a savory thing so that is uh, my preference sweet or savory I go for savory and next one says next one says books or movies so I do have a I do have a very short concentration span that's the one thing I know about myself I cannot concentrate a long time on something so I definitely would go for my husband knows this my family knows this I don't sit with them and watch movies with them especially because of that because my concentration is very very short so I would definitely rather read a book because then I can always just close the book and go do something else when I start feeling like I'm bored and I'm not missing out on anything I can go back to the book go back to the page that I was reading and continue young tall so yeah, I'm not a movie person at all simply because also I overthink things quite a bit like I don't um, Read like fictional books and stuff because and like fantasy books Because I'm a very realistic person even in things like that like if I'm to read a book I want something that is um as realistic as possible I don't know if that makes sense like let it be something realistic let it not be something fictional something made up my mind just cannot comprehend things like that I get bored I lose interest very easily so I really really do like books because of those reasons I can read it and then shut it down and go to something else and not miss out on anything and 
I can you know decide on what books I want to read that talk to the things that I enjoy and stuff and things that I believe like believable st stuff if you know what I'm saying so yeah definitely a books person over movies my favorite movie I will say is Shawshank Redemption if you ask me why I'll tell you it is because it is the one movie that I watched from beginning to end and I enjoyed it so that is yeah this is about the only movie that matters to me in in life honestly <laughs> Uh, cats are dogs definitely dogs I am not a cat person at all not a cat person I don't like cats cats are creepy for me cats give me like they really really give me the creeps they are dark eyes they, they they are eyes that stir into your soul I can't do that give me a dog any day I think because I am a lotion girl like I'm a girl who grew up in the township and cats were not favored in in my environment cats were not favored in my environment cats were associated with witchcraft if you guys had a cat in your home so if you had a cat and you had an old person particularly an older woman in your home I okay so maybe maybe I'm, I'm I don't know relating it to that but just in general, like, I feel like they're very creepy, especially like black cats. Because cats, like, they just have this stare that they can just stare into your soul. And I'm just like, hey, hey, like, are you trying to, what are you trying to steal my dreams? What are you doing, you know? So I'm definitely a dog person, for sure. Netflix or YouTube? Ah, guys, give me YouTube any day. Give me YouTube any day because, like I said, I don't like things that are made up, you know? I don't like, even on Netflix, if I do watch Netflix, I will watch like reality shows. The other day, just not yesterday, the day before yesterday, my daughter and I were watching Love is Blind. That's about the only show, plus also we got it like when the episodes were like finished, like on the day that the reunion dropped, that's when we watched it. So we watched everything in one sitting, two sittings, I'm lying. Two sittings and that's about the only thing I can watch watch on Netflix anything reality show but otherwise give me YouTube because I'm watching real stuff real people there's no like professional anything there it's just real people doing their thing on on YouTube and that's what I enjoy I feel like I'm going too fast with my makeup and too slow with my questions number eight city or countryside I am a city girl through and through you guys but if I'm being honest with you name since getting a little bit older I am so open to the idea of having a country life a farm life to some degree I really am open to that because I'm realizing that uh, a slow life as you get older is something very important like for longevity just for peace of mind man you don't want a whole lot of noise and a whole lot of activity around you when you are a certain age I find that I'm gravitating a lot more towards like countryside as I get older not now maybe when I'm like 55 60 yes I would definitely like to end up in a place where it's more country preferably also like a combination of like countryside and a bit of the ocean you know have easy access to both of those things I think I think I, I like that idea. I've, I've, I'm warming up to it. I've really been like against it a lot, but I'm definitely warming up to it. Sorry guys, I'm using the Obs Absolute Translucent Powder from Yardley to set my face. Next question, summer or winter? Oh, definitely summer, baby. I'm a spring baby. I am a spring baby. I've never loved winter, never will love winter. Give me summer any day. My favorite color. I have just discovered that I do have a favorite color. I never thought I had a favorite color until recently, and it happened real time on a vlog when I was recording, when I realized that my favorite color is sage green, okay? I've got touches of sage green all over me, all around me in my house, things that I own and I wasn't even aware that I liked that color so I do have a favorite color I used to say oh no I don't have a favorite color I love all colors of the rainbow why should I choose one when there's so many I actually do have a favorite color I always gravitate towards that color for some reason I don't know why maybe I need to investigate why that color is my favorite color but I do have a favorite color and it's sage green I'm so like I'm so proud to be able to say you know your favorite color guys like I've always been those people that are like oh no I'm not my favorite color like why like every color is is you know every color on, on the rainbow matters yes it does but like my favorite is sage green next question chocolate or vanilla please give me chocolate 
anytime I'm using you guys let me show you this I use this tint from Essence it's a skin tint and it's got SPF 30 I use this as my contour I just pour it into this thing because I feel like it's easier for me to pick it up from there so this is what I'm using as my contour just to give me a little bit of dimension to my face is it called dimension yeah just to give me a bit of that and then I bring it a little bit I don't do too much of it because this is quite dark so what I did do is pour it into here and that's where I'm picking it up from so next question um, adventure or relaxation I think I've relaxed a lot in my life like I've done a lot of relaxing I feel like I'm ready for some adventure right now so definitely adventure I'm not scared one thing I know for sure is that if I do want something and I'm interested in something I will do it I have bungee jumped once in my life but I'll be honest with you also I'll never bungee jump ever again once is enough especially when you have children <laughs> and you are of a certain age there's just things that you don't want to be doing I'm using the same tint to contour my nose I'm definitely not that kind of adventure girl anymore but I am not scared um, I remember a colleague of mine was just like when are you bungee jumped you've got tattoos I've got ta two tattoos if you're interested to know I've got this one here which is a cross I don't know if you can see it I've got that and then I've got my kids names tattooed on my chest where I got that when we were away for our 10 year anniversary and I thought why not tattoo my kids names on my chest and so yeah I am a bit of an adventure girl I do have a high tolerance for pain so give me that and I will do it next question wine or beer definitely wine if I was to choose between the two I did used to drink wine a whole lot and um, I've cut down I've discovered that I don't enjoy the taste of wine a lot anymore I also don't enjoy the feeling of having even my system rejects it I don't enjoy the feeling that I get from drinking wine anymore and as much as I'm not a person that like heavy drinks anyway but still just having that on my system is just something that I don't enjoy anymore so yeah and then I'm just gonna set my face for now this is my first setting I'll come back again I use the Mac fix it to set my makeup next question is introvert or extrovert I am definitely a bit of both depending on where I am I can say that I do have a lot more of extrovert in me than I do than I have introvert I find it easy to interact with people see as long as people are, are kind people are um, like just nice to you I find it very easy to interact with people and talk to people I'm definitely more extroverted I want to say 60% extrovert 40% introvert I am a combination of both and and they, we, we are called ambiverts that's what I am and uh, yeah but also put me in, in, in different settings at different times a uh, different me will come out uh, next question is phone call or text guys it's 2024 why do you need to call me why do you need to call me when you can just text me let's just be honest guys like I enjoy conversation I enjoy talking to people but also not all the time if you can text it please text worse these days there's uh, voice notes send me a voice note send me a voice note also I do have people that I don't mind having on call um, on voice talking to them on voice it's just that phone calls give me the creeps like when someone calls me I automatically think there is something wrong I know that is not like the best way to look at these things like to approach life but every time someone calls me my phone hardly rings the only people that call me on my phone are my husband and my mother and uh, like people that will call me and I will answer without problems and a few friends here and there but we hardly talk like all the time my phone is mostly quiet so um, yeah uh, I'd rather please please don't call me like text if you can text me 
please do that. I'm just setting my face with this uh, setting powder that I got. It's just a compact powder that I got from, I think I'm, I got this from Discam if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, guys, like I said to you before, if you've watched my videos before, I am not a makeup guru. I do know how to do my own makeup on my own face. And I've watched the likes of Niza and uh, a lot of like other makeup girls. And I've taken some tips from them, but generally I'm not like the best person to do makeup. I do enjoy makeup and I do enjoy what it does for my face, but I am not an expert, okay? And then after that, I'm just gonna go in with this very beat up bronzer of mine. And next question, because I'm running out of time. Sneakers or heels? Hmm. Guys, I am just putting some of this bronzer on. I should have started with my bronzer before going in with my please don't judge my makeup skills whatever you do don't judge my makeup skills please please can't Denzeli favor Denzeli no favor makeup gurus I think I want to go in with more blush I need more of that blush you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some of that I, I don't use like powder blush to set my blush, I use, uh, I don't have powder blush, so I use a yeah, eyeshadow palette as my powder blush. Don't judge me, okay? I use this very beat up <laughs> Bl um, eyeshadow palette to set my, as a blush set. Uh, so yeah, sneakers or heels? Eesh, guys. Lately, I'm a sneaker girl. I gravitate towards my sneakers more than I do my heels. Uh, simply because I am obviously a stay-at-home mom, so I need to be on my feet. I need to, you know, move around a lot, do a lot of stuff. And just, so, uh, I, I, prefer, I prefer sneakers now. Uh, just because of practicality, not because of anything. Uh, I still like how heels make you look you know postured and it gives you that nice like elevated kind of a look but I'm gravitating towards sneakers because also age and all of that stuff so yeah uh, question number I'm moving quite fast hey question number 17 fiction or non-fiction a hey, non-fiction guys I'm a very realistic person let me just set my face again with the same setting spray from Mac, I am a very realistic person. I, I I don't I don't take very well to like hey stories guys stories I struggle which is why I struggle with watching movies and it's just not something that I'm interested in like you know you watch something and then we are gonna do chabola since you are my body my mind cannot get into things like that you know um where is my liner and next question is cooking or dining out yo guys can we dine out please can we dine out I've, I think it's because I've done a whole lot of cooking also the family that I'm married to guys every gathering has to have food home cooked food so I've cooked so much in my life that I'm just like any chance I get to go out I will go out I will go dine out and uh, yeah that's that this is our peg, I mean guys, it's is our peg. If there's an opportunity to go and dine out, let's go dine out. Let's go enjoy what other people can make, you know, enjoy those kinds of experiences. And question number 19 is board games or video games? Board games, guys. I think I enjoy board games more than... I've never been a video games person. Uh, I'd rather we play... Ludo, snakes and ladders and enjoy each other's company like that I feel like video games are selective you know like when you're chilling with people you 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 know you, it's better to play board games than it is to play video games because I feel like yeah I uh, I separate my video game and like the competition it can be very uh, disadvantageous if you know what I'm saying like because not everyone is like into that kind of stuff I'm just thinking about not myself by myself I'm thinking with other people because board games you play with other people so I'd rather we play 
uh, board games because they're accessible to everybody everybody can enjoy it and you get to know people's like general knowledge if possible and just have fun and laugh like uh, video games can be very aggressive and very tension filled like no let's do board games have fun laugh make jokes about each other and you know keep it moving next question number 20 is travel or staycation right can you travel <laughs> Can we travel to somewhere, somewhere we've never been? Let's experience something different, a different environment. Let's experience a different setting. You know, staycation can be like you're stuck indoors. It's literally a lot of the time a staycation is you're just going from, you know, your house to someone else's house and chilling there. I'd rather be like out vacation let's travel let's get on a bus let's, let's get on on a train let's get on a plane and go somewhere and have fun different environment you know like be far from your home don't even relate the place that you go to that you're traveling to let it be different from what you are normally used to you know staycations are usually like more like there isn't much different to what you already know and uh, I'm almost done I think my face looks cute next question is favorite holiday oh you know guys my husband has taken me and, and he doesn't believe me when I say this he on this very random very very random uh, you know those holidays that you find in the middle of the year just like just randomly in the middle of like in May I don't remember what month it was I know it wasn't very warm and we were sitting at home my kids had gone to visit our parents and we we're like a hey, bored like we're bored it's uh, Thursday tomorrow today it's a Friday tomorrow and it's gonna be a long weekend like I wish we had gone somewhere it's like you want to go somewhere it's like yes he booked us a small little place in Clarence we went there unplanned that is the most memorable holiday there are holidays that I, that I've asked for that we've planned together that we both wanted to go to but this one was not planned and I had never been to Clarence I had never been to like a small town and I really I enjoyed that so much that I said to him you know we need to bring the kids here because it's something different it's slow living but it's still enjoyable you know I enjoyed that so much it was um, yeah it was it was nothing major nothing big nothing fancy but very very memorable because it was just like you know spare of the moment let's get in the car baby let's go you know? so yeah that was like a beautiful time uh, for me that holiday was very memorable I think I would like to do that again so yeah Okay, so that's it you guys. Let's do a little face check. I like my makeup to be very minimal. Very, like I want you to see that I've got makeup on but it doesn't have to be like in your face too much. So I still want to look like myself with makeup on and I will say that having lashes all the time makes the hugest difference if there is such a word as hugest. It, um, I just wanna fix my brow. One thing I do struggle with is brows, you guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. One thing I struggle with, gamma brows, chill. I'm scared to make them too thick. I really am. I don't like like those kinds of brows that are just like in your face, you know. I still want them to look like they're mine. Just with a little bit of a shape, you know, just with a little bit of something to them. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. I like it. I like my face. I still look like Nomsa. Just a little bit made up. So, yeah, guys, that's it. I am going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really chilled. I hardly had my drink. Let me have a sip. Mmm, mmm. So nice. So, yeah, that's it. It's my birthday in two nights. It's my birthday tonight and um, yeah, I'm very blessed, very appreciative to have reached the age that I am and still growing the grace of God upon my life, giving me so many years to live and the thought of me living another 40 years is what excites me. I'm done with the 40 years that I've lived already in the 40 plus years that I've lived. I'm looking forward to the 40 years that I have started living and what God is about to do in my life. I look forward to that. I'm excited for that. So yeah, that's it you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did, please comment down below your preferences, your this or that, are you a summer or winter, your favorite color, that kind of stuff. Please engage in the comment section and I will see you guys on Thursday with a vlog 
just want to clarify something i saw a few people saying that uh they've enjoyed my vlogtober guys i didn't participate in vlogtober i have been doing two vlogs for the last few months now that's the of two videos let me say two videos a week for the last few months now and that's the schedule that i'm continuing with it is not vlogtober so it was just my normal schedule and thank you so much for engaging in my content and i'm very happy that you guys are watching as i see it i see it you know thank you so much i appreciate you all so much i'll see you on the next one bye guys